Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to generate a, a Python code in a postman and we can able to how we can able to execute that code into a, a Python layer. Okay. See basically whenever you open uh, completely for this particular uh, postman, you can able to click for any like you can able to use it for any endpoint. Now I'm going to use for the there is an endpoint get user. Okay, this is the user 198. Okay, this is my request. This is a get method and the headers and add codes. It's add code is binary is there. Okay. In this one, how we can able to generate Python request. See if you are going to do if you import and then you can able to write some automation code that also we can able to do it to reduce our automation scripting we can able to use here there is a code snippet you can able to see less than and get the in between there is a forward slash I have to click that one once you click it will show you there is a code snippet after that there is a drop down. You can able to see C sharp, rest sharp, uh, C sharp, rest, rest sharp, and curly. We need you want HTTP and navigate HTTP, Java OK HTTP, and fetching that. And you can able to see Node.js REST request and PHP related and Python related. And in Python related also we have there are two types. One is Python request and another one is Python http client first we will see for http client can you able to now it is generated for http okay now the same thing i'm going to do for python request where it is generated for request please come and see this much it is not a much different it's a similar format of the code but only thing is we are going to use for here http connection while you are using the url see here i used for directly url and specify this name and you can able to use it here while you are going to use for http dot client then you can able new things for connections and equal to http client connection dot http connection this format we can able to get it okay now i'm removing this http client one see this is a easy format right even you can able to save this one and go to your terminal okay and use for python iPhone APIs slash a get a method dot py and if you use it will give us for result as a success and it is provided for some data correct see so now as simple without any uh, burden the uh, the code entire code is supported by postman itself not required to any other tools it is a by default a python code it is generated by, by our postman okay in the next video session we will see for how we can able to verify for get value uh, response how we can able to verify this particular in the down you can able to see right there are couple of values it is presented and inside that how we can able to validate that particular response value okay we'll see in the next video thank you if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you